Hey, welcome to a tandem canoe update. We've got a new boat. This is the Pearl. Uh, we have slightly modified the Chestnut Pal. It's true uh, to most design aspects on that original Pal. The shear line has the upsweep that you'd expect from a traditional boat, so a little bit shallower in the center and a little bit higher on the ends. Uh, the symmetrical hull is identical to old style canoes. We modified just two things, uh, at least that are significant. One, we changed the length, it's 15.9 instead of 16 feet. And number two, we eliminated the recurve stems, which offer no performance benefits and only add some weight. So this is a great low volume tandem. Um, you know, it's a little shorter, a little smaller than most tandems out there. Uh, so think about day paddles, weekend trips with it. It's also the smallest and lightest weight tandem that we offer, so it's a perfect cabin boat. Um, it's a high volume solo, so paddle it from the bow seat backwards and you've got a pretty cavernous gear hauler. Uh, and of course what we expect is a lot of people that say, hey, you know, I've got an 80 pound dog and I want to take trips. and..." You know, I weigh 240 pounds, and for that, the Pearl is going to be ideal. Um, it's a big solo that's notably higher volume than the Northwind solo. And so it truly does do what I just described in terms of dogs and gear and all that end of things, big people. Um, but it's also comfortably smaller and less affected by wind than any of our other uh, tandems. So, you know, that'd be the B-16, the Northwind 16, or the Polaris. Um, it's just a little lower volume than any of those, a little shorter, um, so a little bit more comfortable uh, as a big solo boat. It's available in all four laminations uh, that it can come in, uh, which are Blacklight, Starlight, IXP, and Stealth, and all three types of gunnels as well, so aluminum trim, wood trim, and E6. And that is the Pearl. Thanks for listening.